Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the drag gesture. It's one of the most useful tools in Swift UI and can do a lot more than a tab gesture. So with that, the final result we're going to have is this uh, hello world text that you can drag around and it changes color. And this is all thanks to the functionality of a drag gesture. So with that, let's start from a blank slate and create our starting content view, which you would get with any uh, new project that you start. So we'll create a very basic text called hello. And we're going to then give it a position. So position simply gives an X and Y coordinate where we want to put the, um, the view. Here we're going to give it a 0.0, .0 and that should put it in the top left corner because if you're familiar with the coordinate system on an iPhone, uh, zero, zero is at the top left, and then as you increase in the positive direction, it goes to the right and uh, to the bottom. So if we give it 100, 100, that should put it further down and to the right. So now that we've built this, let's create a variable that we can use to change these coordinates uh, based on some kind of uh, function that we use. So we'll create a state private variable, call it position, and it's going to be a CG point because the CG point contains an X and a Y coordinate that we can use for position. So we've essentially replicating uh, what we had hard coded here. And we are saying self.position.x and self.position.y is um, the coordinates of our position. We should get the exact same result we had before. There we go. So now we can use a gesture, a drag gesture, to change these variables. So we create a drag gesture and it comes with two things we can use. So one is unchanged and unended. So let's start with unchanged. This tracks the, the user's finger as it is dragged across the screen. And here what we have to do is um, say something like value in and the value will hold the coordinates of the user's finger. So we can use that then to set the self.position.x to the value.location.x and do the same thing for y. And that will actually pass the user's finger's coordinates to the text view and it will make it follow the user's finger. So if we run this, you'll see I can now move it around because the coordinates for the label are being given to it by the user's input, by the user's finger on the screen. So that's, and, and it updates every time the finger moves, that's why it's called unchanged. Versus unended is what we can use um, once the, the user lifts their finger off the screen. So unended, then we can choose to do something else like change the color. So to do that, we have to give text a foreground color and we'll start with red for now and we'll comment the unended just to see that um, we've given it a red color. We've hard coded it, but we'll change it. So there we go. We can still move it around, but it's red. We use the same approach. We create a state private variable. We'll call it color. And we're going to say that it's color red to start with. Then we can change it below um, with our track gesture. We, we link the color to the variable and then on end it, we'll say self.color equals color.green. And if we uh, here on end it, we also have to do a similar approach as with on change, but since we don't need any um, variable there, uh, we, we just use the um, underscore and say underscore in, and then that's fine. So now if we move the label the first time, it'll change to green and then it'll stay green because we've said every time you lift your finger off the screen, change it to green and then that's it. It never changes back to red. It would be interesting, it'd be cool to do that, to change the color every time you lift your finger off the screen. So we do this with a simple if statement and we say, if, this, if the color is red, then change the color to green. Else, if the color is green, since we only have two options here, we'll change the color back to red. So self.color equals color.red. 
uh, uh, there's a, be careful with the equals. You need two equal signs to, um, to create a condition instead of setting the value. So now if you move it around, you'll see that the color changes and you can just drag it around based on the coordinates of your finger. So that's it. That's uh, the basic introduction to drag gesture. It's very powerful and you can imagine all the things you can do uh, when you either are dragging your finger around or every time you lift it. Uh, this can also be used uh, to create a swipe gesture, which is something I'll do in a different video. Uh, but that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click like and subscribe and leave a comment.